That was Cindy Lauper with True Colours. And before that, we heard Rhett and Link with Internet Overload or Internet Overdose. I think it's a good song. Anyway, Will, I believe you have a guest to tell us all about. We, so, we, we do, Chris. So it, it's over to you. So it's, it's Volkart Muller, who's visited us before when uh, the show about uh, any high street was, was in the Royal Albert Memorial Museum last year. And then this year, uh, you're working with uh, Blind Ditch, and uh, the project is called This City Centre. That's right. Good morning. Good morning. And um, well, would you would you just start explaining a bit a bit about the project and a bit about Blind Ditch? Okay, um, Blind Ditch is a group of artists um, with diverse backgrounds, mostly UK based at the moment. We've got composer, we've got performers, we've got a theatre director. I'm a visual artist, and uh, between us, we develop projects. Uh, quite often the way we operate is that one of us um, introduces an idea based on their expertise quite often, uh, proposes it to the company and if they think it's a worthwhile thing for all of us to pursue we start developing the idea into a full-fledged project. Quite often it involves um, public participation and um, working, well, yeah, working with members of the public in order to achieve our work. Uh, the project we're doing now, uh, this city centre, is a project that happens in Exeter, to be precise, in the city centre of Exeter, and um, it's got sort of several several strands to it. It's got a visual arts installation. Uh, there's going to be a map um, that we're going to produce, a performance piece that's going to be produced later on, and um, yeah, also a website onto which people can upload images of their windows, views from their flats together with a thought yeah so that's the starting point is the view from a window starting point is the view from a window what we're basically trying to create in the first step of the project which is the installation at ram is a portraiture of the city center of exeter as seen through the eyes of its residents as we can see it from their windows so to speak so we won't see people in it but we will work with 20 city centre residents to film a view of their choice from a window of their accommodation. So, so why have you chosen that there not be any people in the views? Because by not showing faces, I personally think it opens up an imaginative space that is to me preferable to showing a face, the face is not needed. The idea is that we frame the view, the outside, past the interior, so there will be a little bit of the accommodation in it, so to speak. Imagine a gold gilded frame full of ornament, you know, framing a, a landscape. Uh, the, the, the flat or the, the house or the place where people live will be the gold gilded frame. And by seeing a little bit, getting a glimpse of the interior, only a glimpse, um, in relation to what they see, people are invited to imagine the rest as opposed to seeing it. There's a real strength to that, I think. But, saying that, we will also talk to the residents about their view and an element of this conversation will be part of the soundtracks that will go with this video installation. So what's going to happen, very quickly to wrap up the image, these 20 views will be put together a bit like on a giant carpet window 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 and projected onto the wall of the ram museum the the inside space adjacent to the to the cafe and there's also going to be a sound composition made by um, uh, a composer john Drever, is also a member of blind ditch so it's going to be sound and image so the sound is is like interviews and conversations is that right or will well, there be music in it uh, the sound is also, well, that's what we're currently thinking about, how to do that, and it's going to be mostly John's job, but it will be, uh, you know, we're, we're, we've been thinking about the acoustic representation of a vista, you know, what does a vista mean, what does a view mean, and what could be an acoustic equivalent to that, so we've been thinking about a whole lot of ways of 
um, documenting and recording and generating sound from these interiors that is equivalent to what we see but there will also be conversation as a really important part of it us talking to these people so we will hear their voices we will see their views but we won't see them and the whole thing will be composed so to speak it's a, it's a process of curation and composition isn't it to put these images up on a wall together with the sound so people can sit down at the museum later on put in some headphones and contemplate the the tapisserie, the, the carpet, the giant panoramic vision of exit to views, you know. <laughs> but you're still not wanting to have any people in that view, because I just think of a, a city centre, it's full of people. It is. If you um, look out any, any sort of doorway or, or window, you're going to see people and cars and bustle going on and you seem to be suggesting a, 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 a sort of rural landscape oh no no is, no is, sorry is what, is what is being seen I think there's a misunderstanding obviously we won't see the people who inhabit the flats or the places it'll just be their view but whatever happens inside that view is the city of course so if they look out onto a busy junction and if it's also about how people relate to this view you know we've already been working with people we've got already plenty of interest uh, people wanting to contribute to share their view towards this art installation at the museum um, but you know some people they experience their view at midnight sometimes mostly in the morning so the time of day will depend on on when people want us to document what they see how they relate to that view and whatever happens inside it happens inside it if it's the, the, the wrestle and bustle of the high street that's it then you know okay now that, that that that's beginning to make sense to me there's there's several bits that i i see as problems or i'd like you to, to explain a bit more yes yeah, sure. um because on the on the twitter feed because you you had an event this this last weekend when there was a window on wheels that that moved through the high street and uh, various places and people could sit and look through it and tell you what their thoughts were that's right that was an invitation for people to revision their city center um i suppose you know if we think of a city center most people think of the built environment don't they they, they think of landmark buildings and they probably think of corporate chain stores and shopping opportunities a lot you know particularly talking of the high street as being core to many city centers in this country but what we often forget is that cities are made up of people, I would say. You know? Right, right. <laughs> You've touched upon it already, but right. without people, a city is nothing, you know. And it was about inviting residents of Exeter to sit down in front of a mobile bay window and imagine it was theirs, their view from their house, their flat, theirs, and whatever is on the other side of the window and obviously it could be positioned in any way, uh, you know, pointing down the high street into print to say, whatever, um, whatever is on the other side of the view, to imagine it's all theirs. It's a bit of a, a mind game, isn't it? Sort of imagine you are the king or queen of exit, so this is all yours, and now you can do with it whatever you want. And then they sat there for five minutes or less because it was very cold. <laughs> but still we had a lot of people picking up on it they could have a cup of tea they could listen to a soundtrack of their choice um, immerse themselves in the view from the window and after five minutes they would tell us how they would if they would because not, not everybody would uh, change or uh, you know you know the, the, their view their, their city centre you know but the the problem I saw that it was there was a Twitter feed about this just to tell people where this window was. Yes. And a lot of people joined in on that. But then you've got this problem with the apostrophe that <laughs> Mid, Mid Devon County Council Mid Devon Council are, are worried about, and I can see why because the, uh, sorry, well, the apostrophe is like this city's. So it's this city apostrophe s ah. center is 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 the official title. <coughs> yes. And when you put that in a tweet. You drop out the apostrophe, yes. But you still got to have the S in it, right? On your on your official tweet handle, yes. And I just think that's a bit confusing. So I wonder, is it? Did you think about city centres in general, or is the emphasis more on the city, which happens to have a centre? Um, and now the Twitter thing eluded me because I, I have to confess that. But um, we're thinking of a particular city centre, but um, I mean, you've asked me previously, for example, what the relation is between the the previous work I've done, any high street, um, yeah. this particular project. Um, myself, as well as my colleagues at Blind Ditch, we like to work from the specific towards the generic. So we look at very particular sites to give whatever we do a really firm grounding, you know. Um, 
and like with any high street for example uh, there was a it was a study of of the of exit to high street as it may be representative for many more sites across the uk um in a way i think similar things will happen with this city center because it, it after all you know it's a culture you know it's, it's it's a documentation also of uk culture and of uk lives at this point in time and of you know uh, urban features that may be sp uh, specific to the uk um, so yes, we work with a particular place. It is about Exeter. It is about the people of Exeter. But we do think that there will be a wider relevance to that once it's finished and already. So in fact, on our website where we invite people to just um, spontaneously take a picture of their window and upload it together with a thought, it's open to anybody across the planet living in a city. So it can be any any city can be sent, can be sent any in city, to the yes. website. Absolutely. However, the installation at RAM will be very specifically Exeter, and that within a vicinity of sort of we sort of put the perimeter around ten minutes walk from the Cathedral Green. So if somebody's a really good athlete or they want to hire somebody who can run all the way down to the end of St Thomas in ten minutes, that they're our guest. <laughs> okay. Chris, have you got a, 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 a song lined up or did you have a question? I have a question and then I can play a song. So I live in Counters Square, but the view from my windows of the car park. So how does that work? Because... It sounds perfect. It sounds perfect for the website. And I'm 10 minutes... I'm more than 10 minutes from the city centre. Yeah, uh, well, I think for the installation at RAM, it would be pushing it. <laughs> Count as we're. Um, because we do think that the centre of the city is a really interesting subject matter because it's elusive. You know, one can say, of course, it's within the perimeter of the Roman walls. But, you know, arguably there's much more to a city centre experience than what happens within the perimeter of the Roman walls, you know. Uh, so it's getting uh, a sort of sense of also discussion going, you know, what constitutes a city centre um, geographically as well as metaphorically or, or what it means to people. Um, your view at Countess Weir would be perfect um, for the website. Thank you. For, a, for a, you know, because that would be yet another documentation of somebody's view, somebody's life, so to speak, almost, you know. Well, if you give me the website address, I'll put a photo up. That's great because in doing so, I can give it to all of your listeners. Surely, yeah. It's thiscitiescenter dot net. Thiscitiescenter dot net. net, and it's all one word. No, you know, obviously www and um, yeah, no apostrophe. No apostrophe. Mm -hmm. That's a very s straightforward and sensible approach. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, being straightforward, shall we put uh, one of your songs on, Will? Oh, I think some music every now and again is uh, no bad thing. OK, this is a song about windows. <laughs> <laughs> 